We left last episode with Himeno's death. We see the Katana Devil fighting Himeno's ghost, and her body slowly started to disappear, just when the mysterious girl calls us Snake Devil. It seems that all she had to sacrifice was a fingernail. A fucking fingernail, and Himeno sacrificed her whole entire body. Bro, she's OP, bro, damn! Himeno used all of her powers, and just before she disappears, she tells Aki, Aki, come on. Because she wants Aki to cry for her. Which is fucking weird. That's weird. I don't know. That's weird for me. As it was her last will. Her ghost devil manages to turn Denji into Chainsaw so he can save everyone. For the enemy is here because of Denji. Just like the devil they fought back in the hotel. But unlike that devil, they need Denji alive. For what for? Sacrificial things, man. They're gonna sacrifice him, bro. Oh! I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. I don't know. It seems the Chainsaw Devil is really strong or desirable. The way so many devils and humans are going for him. So what could it possibly be that makes him so desirable? Now, real quick, guys. I want to make this very clear. Makima also wants him. I'm telling you, Makima is... I'm, bro, Makia is a... Oh, boy. I'm just saying she's got... She knows something. Makima knows something. But she's not telling everybody. Denji versus the Katana Devil goes in around two. And just like all the fights in Chainsaw Man, this fight is fucking crazy. It's brutal and greatly animated. Aki, who just lost Himeno, is still in shock and unable to do anything. And we don't even see where power is or what she is doing right now. The girl calls for backup on her phone. It seems like she's obviously part of a big organization now that like Kobina and all those guys had died and Makima also got shot and now they're after Denji. So it might be the ops of like the Devil Association. That's what I'm thinking right now. Just as quick as the backup appears, Denji manages to knock them out since it was just normal humans with guns. The henchmen still manage to shoot him from the ground. And backed into a corner, Denji decides to take one of the henchmen as hostage. Boom! Yeah! Yeah, Denji's a fucking crazy man. It seems like Denji hasn't ever seen an anime because we all know that the Katana Devil really won't care. Come on, dude. He's a villain, dude. You don't care about no stupid henchman. Ankle, put a sad henchman right here and let me kick him. He honors his name. And just like in every other Katana fight in anime, he slowly approaches Denji, disappears, and reappears. <laughs> I just did it. Editing. But no, he reappears behind them and they're both sliced in half. After the fight is done, they go downstairs to bring Denji into their car and say that all of his friends have been shot. Now, obviously, they won't kill the main squad off screen, so they're probably still alive. So, my guess is, guys, Power manages to get away. I think Power got scared a little bit, but I think she'll be fine. But I think she went, grabbed Aki, and then they went and they were like, yo, man, we gotta get out of here so we can go save everybody later, man, because we can't do anything right now. Aki was like starstruck because Himeno just died. So, it was, it's just been, it's just been a crazy, like, I mean, imagine, put yourself in their shoes, man. Leaving the car comment if you would fight off if you were power would you bing bing bang pause i didn't mean like bang i mean like bang i fight we go back to makima's train and see that she is still alive how what Maki was alive and standing in front of the guys who shot her after the train arrives at the train station we see her walking out and covered in her enemy's blood guys i'm telling you Ma something's up with makima Something is up with Makima. How did she... Bro, we just saw her with her head shut off. Aiko, put put her head right here. I'm gonna kick it. So apparently she's back alive. I don't know. I, maybe... Oh, oh, maybe her devil has like a quirk. A quirk. What is it, my hero? Maybe her devil has the power to basically like like reverse time or like give her like the ability to reheal or something like that or pause time or something like that. I don't know. Maybe let me know in the comments if it, your theories, guys. But it's literally no question that Maki is literally the OP character in this show right now. And she didn't even break a sweat. We see the dead assassin with giant holes in their stomach. Again, guys, the Chainsaw Man is brutal, so... You know, or was it me blowing their back out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she orders the two workers that waited for her at the train station to collect a group of prisoners who have lifelong sentences onto the temple, which is abandoned. And something tells me, bro, this is not good news for the prisoners. I think they're going to go like, Bad, oh my God. Back in Tokyo, the Katana Devil tries putting Denji into the car, which he gives up because he is too heavy. I ain't gonna lie, that's body shaming, man. Uh, cancel my hero, Chainsaw Man. Also, on top of that, it's literally only half his body, by the way. It's not even his full body, so. So he tells the henchman to do it. And just as the henchman is about to do it, he senses something weird. The henchman then goes on and explodes in midair, or gets compressed into a small cube by getting folded like a sheet of paper. This dude was like, I can't really explain it, but it was super, it was insane and brutal. Chainsaw Man is the most brutal. At first, it was like Attack on Titan was like the most brutal. By the way, I just finished that manga. I hate that ending. But I think Chainsaw Man after this season will definitely top uh, Attack on Titan when it comes to brutality. Either way, it shocked and scared everyone. The girl tries communicating with another man and asks him over the phone if they really killed Makima. And just as she is about to answer the question, he gets killed the same way while being in a total different location. What does Makima own? I know this is Makima, you crazy son of a... But I, but I love you. <laughs> 
but I love you. Turns out our suspicions was right. It was Makima. And we finally get to see her power. While she is in Kyoto, she is able to kill the people in Tokyo, which is an insane distance by making the prisoners cover their eyes, kneeling on the ground and saying the name of those she wants dead. While all this happens, the eyes of her co-workers are also covered because nobody can see how she does it. Suspicious? I think so. The prisoners say the name and immediately drop dead. Okay, so hear me out, guys. Apparently she could bend humans like like paper. But also on top of that, she has to have the people say the name of the people that she wants to fold, which is like some kind of like control that she has over that. I don't know. I really don't know. But also on top of that, she just got resurrected. So maybe she, oh, maybe she has multiple devils. Maybe, maybe she has multiple devils. She continues to kill all the henchmen from the enemy group while they try to run away and beg for their life. But none of that works and they get killed brutally until there's nothing left but blood and their clothes left. She ends it by stating that's all she can do over this distance, implying that she is way stronger in a 1v1 battle. But just how strong is she? Right now, she seems like the Levi or like the gojo of this universe the girl and the katana devil are still alive it seems like they're a little bit too powerful to kill from such a distance just as they're about to run away with dingy kobina appears what the f what the hell is Kobina doing here? Like, what the we saw what happened back when she thought they got shot. After the old lady shot Ari and aimed at Kobina, he jumped in front of her and saved her life. She managed to take out the old lady and survive. The girl calls up her giant snail again, but then out of nowhere, Kobina jumps on the snail. And I don't know why she did that. After that, she runs towards the Katana Devil and takes his hands with her only knife. She also managed to take his gun and shoot him, knocking him out. The girls try shooting her, but in Kobina's style, she takes Dingy's sliced up body and uses it as a shield. Classic Kobina, guys. Am I right, guys? <laughs> She's so classic. The two have to back off and drive away. Did Kobina just solo those guys? What the f Kobina is actually able to be useful. That makes her move up in the character list for me. Not gonna lie. It definitely certainly makes up for her mental breakdown at the hotel. But it wouldn't be Kobina if she didn't at least have one mental breakdown. And that's what happens next. But this time, who could blame her? Because a moment ago, Ari sacrificed himself to save her. She plans to quit being a devil hunter next time she sees Himeno. But... Himeno is gone. Makima meets up with another devil hunter and says that the most members of the devil hunter special squad is dead. Makima realizes this must have been the gun devil, which is actually wild. So the gun devil is out there somewhere. I don't know where he is, but he's after the chain. He's, he's clearly after uh, Denji right now. It's not the question. Makima knows something. Okay, so here's my theory. The gun devil is out there. He's ordering all these people or his organization to kill the chainsaw devil because Denji obviously has some kind of power over the gun devil that Denji doesn't know about yet. And Makima knows that Denji has it. And I feel like Makima and the gun devil have fought before. Kind of like an all might and all for one situation. And they never really got to finish their battle. So now they're kind of waging war behind the scenes. I don't know. I, I could be completely wrong, guys. I don't know. But because of the staff shortage, now all the other teams will work under Makima as well. The informant they met, Monaco, also quits his job then and there. And the two people who accompanied Makima from Kyoto back to Tokyo point out they won't join the special devil hunter squad. And you can probably guess why they don't want to join the special. I don't know how the other devil association or like the devil hunter association is affected by this, but it seems like they took a hit today. And again, it kind of reminds, I don't know about you guys, but it kind of out of the scout regimen in Attack on Titan. But anyways, guys, this episode was amazing. I absolutely enjoyed it so much. I hope you guys did. The anime dojo is almost at 5,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to join, hey, you guys can. There's plenty of room in the dojo. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you guys hit the like button and comment and let me know what you guys think is going to happen with Makima. It's Anime Dojo and we're out.